Okay, we've basically got one last thing to cover in our Boolean unit, and that is to go from a truth table to a Boolean expression. Now, there are a few different ways to do this, um, and I'm going to teach you the only way that I know how, uh, though apparently Carnot maps are much easier. I will not teach you Carnot maps because I don't know them. Okay, so I'm going to go with my own basic method. So let's start with a truth table. And x is our unknown expression. So binary 0, binary 1, binary 2, and a binary 3. And let's say I was given the results of that. The easiest way for me to start deciphering a truth table is to look for a known pattern. Now true when there is something true in the expression, that looks to me like an or, and I would have A or B. Okay, so this one was super easy. We'll try another one that's a smidge harder. So again, we'll start off with our truth table, A, B, and X. And here we've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, as we normally would. And this time our set of results are true, false, false, true. Now to me this looks kind of like something that is familiar to me, and that's an exclusive or. But if I had an exclusive or, when they're both the same, it would have been false, and when they were different, they would have been true. And the answer is the exact opposite of that. So in this instance, I can say it's probably a, I think our symbol is a circle with a plus in it, a exclusive or b, but the opposite of it. So not a exclusive or b. So that's one where you're looking for patterns and coming up with things that are familiar and testing out what will and won't work. Now let's try something a bit harder. And this is the most difficult one I'm going to give you. So this is, uh, we're not going to go to a much deeper level at this point. And here we've got A, B, C, and X is our result. So I'll just fill out the basics of the truth table. So binary 0, binary 1, binary 2, binary 3, binary 4, binary 5, binary 6, and a binary 7. Now I was given the results false, true, false, 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 true, false, false. Now in this one it's a lot harder just to see a pattern. So I'll show you the longer route of doing this. So again, as I said, Carnot maps are apparently easier, but I don't know them. So the way that I would work this is I ignore all the results that are false. And I focus on the ones that produce a true statement. So put in our divide there. And what we do is we deal with our inputs and we write them out in such a way that that would be true by ending. Okay, so it's got to be true by ending. So if we had not A, we ended that together with not B, and we ended that together with C, because C is already true, that would produce true. Now we all that together with any other results that also end in true. So we've got to write that same statement for true, false, true. So if we all that together with A and not B and C, that would produce true for this one. So we produce true by ending for that one true by ending for that one and we've awed the two results. And now from here we want to simplify. And we would need our list of logic laws near us. So let's take that simplified expression onto the next page and we'll put our logic laws up as well. Okay, so I've got up the logic laws and I've got up my expression. So what I do is I start to attempt to simplify. And so what I do is I go hunting for some laws that might allow me to use them. 
and I come across this one here, law 8, and I think, well, my common variable is not A in this case, but not B and C occurs in both. So what I want to do is I want to take that out. So I put that in one set of brackets. Okay, so we've got not B and C. We leave the or where it was, and because we've taken one over there, we're going to put the other one over there. Now, there's ands in both of those, which is fantastic. Um, otherwise, this might not have worked. So we go not A and A. So as I said, it might not have worked if they weren't ands. You always have to check that really closely against the laws and make sure that your ands and your ors and, and all that kind of stuff line up with the example. Otherwise, the simplification that you attempt might not work. So do always check that. Um, so I've taken out not B and C, uh, and I'm left with, on the other side, not A and A. And this comes, this, this one looks a little bit familiar to me, and, and we did go through it in the last example and we found that law 15 said that if you and together a variable and its opposite it will always be false so we'll put down false there and we'll keep the not b and c okay so that one is false so what happens when we have something ordered together with a false and law 26 is the one that said that so when we have it ordered with false, then the expression is actually the one that is the one that carries on because it will dictate whether what the answer is. Okay, so my simplified version is not B and C. And if I want to test this, I would go back against my truth table and I would double check it against each row and see if it produced the exact same result as the truth table I was provided with. Always, whenever you go through a simplification, always double check it back against your original truth table to see if it produces the same result. If it doesn't, you know that you've gone wrong in your simplification. If it does, then you've done a great job. All right, so good luck with your bullying.